Lisa Sugar is getting ready to join us with a story about a class project that grew into an interesting book of stories about living in this area. My guest today is Dr. Stephen Accardi, an assistant professor of English at the Penn State Hazleton campus, here to talk about a rather unique project that he gave to one of his classes, uh, a freshman class, English 15, which is rhetoric and composition, and it had some interesting outcomes as well. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. Tell us what the project was that you gave to the freshman students. So the project is what's called in my field uh, a community engagement project, and that's where students would expand the boundaries of the classroom into the community. And so they went out to uh, local Hazeltonians to find out what it was like to live here in the past 10, 15, 20, 30 years. And it started off as a project where students went to the Hazleton One Community Center and work with adult ESL learners and got to know their story of what it's like to be an immigrant in Hazleton. And then other students uh, branched off into just general people living in Hazleton for the last you know, 50 years and met in Walmart or McDonald's or wherever they uh, had people that they wanted to talk to, uh, talk to them and, and got just these great stories of what it was like to, to live in Hazleton. Um, it's, I, I think we had 51 students interview 41 people in Hazleton overall. So the, the book ended up being about 150 pages overall. So that's the interesting part as well. You've composed all of this into a book and people can have access to it and read it. So were you surprised with the outcome and were the students surprised with what they received back in feedback and what this all meant? I, I didn't compose it. Uh, th those are my students. They did all the hard work. Uh, but uh, I, I think they were surprised at how honest people were with them. I mean, uh, some people talked about some very personal struggles of drug abuse or teen pregnancy or uh, racism in Hazleton and the struggle of the current economic conditions in Hazleton or um, drug violence or, or drugs and, and gang violence. And so um, I think they were surprised of how honest people were with them. And I think my students did a really good job to try to capture that voice in the, in the stories. And um, it, it comes out as a very honest take of, of what it's like living in Hazleton in, in 2014. And the bottom line is you found a commonality of everything that most people have the same goals in life. I think so. I mean, I, I think when you, you read one story back to back and back, you know, if, if this person's been living in Hazleton for, again, 50 years or just got here five years ago, uh, it seems like uh, if they're uh, someone from the Dominican Republic or someone from Italian descent, uh, they just want to find a good job and they just want to raise their kids in a, in a good place. And um, I think once we strip away all those other labels and all the... Um, kind of polarizing differences that we hear so often in Hazleton, uh, we just begin to see that uh, people just want the same things. Oh, very good to hear that. If anyone out there, and I'm sure there are many, who would like to read what the students have uh, all gathered and put into a book, how can they find the book? Where can they read it? So there's copies at the Hazleton Public Library, at the Penn State uh, Hazleton Library, and at the um, Hazleton One Community Center also has copies, and I do have several copies uh, extra in my office, so if you wanted to email me, uh, my email is sra15 at psu.edu. All right. Well, a great project. Thank you for joining us, and keep us updated if there's any more interesting projects like this Thanks. coming down the road. Thanks for